YouTube. I'm Josh Siegler, Nick Rubione, Jacob Morgan, and Michael Cherry. And we're with the University of South Carolina 201 lab here in the electrical engineering department. And today we're going to show you guys how this happens. The light bulb being turned on wirelessly over AM frequencies. And by the end of the day, you're going to be able to do this exact same project in your comfort of your own home. All right, so what we're going to start with is just the basic idea behind the circuit, like what it's actually doing on the surface level. What we have here is just a push button that's going to our crystal oscillator. And you can see right here we have an antenna coming out, which spans the entire room to the very back corner. And this is what's going to compose of our transmitter circuit. All right, so we're going to go over the basic concept behind our receiver circuit. What we're going to have here is just our signals actually being picked up by the two inductors coming in to our variable capacitor going into the germanium diode, which is just allowing current to flow in one direction. Then we're sending that to our amplifier, just amplifying our signal so we can actually pick it up on a readable level. That's in turn being passed to the rectifier and going to our Arduino board where we're just converting the analog signal into digital output. And that digital output is coming right back into our relay. So every time we press the button, light comes on. This is our transmitter circuit. This is our receiver circuit. Alright, this is subsystem one of our receiver. Our signals going to be coming in through our 75 foot antenna, which is then going to be going into our basic tuning circuit. We're going to have two inductors in parallel with our primary and secondary windings, which are then in parallel with our variable capacitor. This, is allow, this allows us to tune the circuit properly so that we can pick up the 1 MHz frequency that we want. Then we have a germanium diode which allows the current to flow in only one direction so that our average power will not be zero. And this is subsystem 2. We are going to take our output from subsystem 1, but because the voltage is so small, we need to amplify its signal so we can read it. We then take an LM386 to amplify our signal. The LM386 is used because it is a really wonderful op amp. It has a pre-built-in gain of 20 decibels and connecting pins 1 and 8 with a 10 microfarad capacitor then gives us a gain of 200 decibels which is what we need for our circuit. So we amplify it here. This is all available on the LM386 data sheet and then we have a 1,000 microfarad capacitor which decouples the signal as it passes into substance. Here we have a subsystem 3 which is taking the AC signal out of subsystem 2 and applying it to a rectifier so that we can take a, get a DC voltage out. We also have a capacitor in parallel with the rectifier to reduce the ripple. Our DC output is the analog input to our Arduino chip. Uh, we have the output of our Arduino after it goes through the code here, which goes into subsystem 4. We have the Arduino plugged into the USB 5 volt port into a computer. And this is our code for the Arduino chip. Alright, so now we're coming out from subsystem 3 where we just got our digital output from the Arduino. The Arduino is sending a signal, which is coming right here over the 10K ohm resistor, and we're sending a current into our current control VJT, the 2N3904. That's going from our base here into our relay. And once this hits full saturation, that's going to cause our relay to hear close to the normally open position. Once this is closed, it's going to create a direct path to our light bulb, which is going to cause it to turn on and actually emit light whenever we push the button. Alright, this is our transmitter circuit right here. So we have 5 volts of DC coming into our crystal oscillator, which generates a frequency of 1 megahertz. And when we push the button, this oscillator completes the circuit, and then we'll output to our antenna, which outputs a signal that looks like this. As you can see, it looks like an approximate square wave. But if we were to zoom in, you'll be able to see that it's made up of multiple sinusoidal waves. And this is an application of the Fourier series. All right, so now at the very end, we've already taken a look at everything that's happening on the subsystem level of our receiver and our transmitter. So I hope we comparing both of these and the subsystem activities, you can kind of get a better understanding about why turning on this push button actually ignites the light bulb whenever we click it. Like so. Hey, 
Thanks for watching our video. Go Cox. You like that? I didn't say anything. <laughs> Bye. Adios.